What's going on Collectors Optical 20 back for another video review this time it's Justice League Flash and you can order this figure at BigBadToyStore.com just click the link down below $4 shipping and you can put him on pile of loot if you're not ready to uh, uh, play with him yet so uh, mm, the movie of uh, Justice League gets mixed reviews and you can see from the box here beautiful artwork I, I, I actually did like the film uh, it's not the best film ever, but you know, I, I, I enjoyed it. You know, I had fun with it uh, And the figures are great, you know, like Wonder Woman the two Batman so far that I've seen uh, This is the box. Uh, it follows the theme of uh, the Justice League and as you can see here It's in a clamshell not too much accessories here beautiful sign um, like logo of the flash there and on the top it says the flash and you know just what would you expect on this figure now like i mentioned earlier it comes with a bunch of hands um, you know just normal running hands and all that stuff some um i don't know what you call them electricity prop or whatever you want to call them and that's basically it and one batarang you know he he caught it well they were like spinning it but he was actually barry allen when that happened so one thing that they kind of missed on this one, I would say, is the faceplate. And um, most likely would see that on Flash 2.0. If there ever is one, I don't know if they're going to create a new Justice League or a standalone Flash movie. You know, here's crossing fingers that that would happen. And this is the uh, props in here. And the actual figure is, uh, you can see the head just kind of being left in there. It's magnetic. The overall impression when you first held, hold this up is kind of, you know, it's, it's light. Um, not really impressive when you uh, when you first touch him, but once you play around, and you see all the details, you would appreciate it more. And this is the head sculpt. Uh, and I was mentioning earlier, um, I guess they kind of missed the opportunity of faceplate, knowing that this figure doesn't come with much, and also not that popular. I mean, the movie itself is not that popular. I'm saying that the character is probably you know there's a lot of fans out there, and as you can see, there's two hands that are. Kind of like the uh, Batarang gripping hands. This is the running hands, the one that's kind of spread out. Uh, I don't know the pointy hands, and this is the one that the famous post that he did. No, really, um, uh, what do you call that? The fisted hands. Uh, that's what he did. Like he just punched people or pushed them, I, I suppose, but there's really no fisted hands out there. And then you got variations of lightning effects and of course this beautiful base that we've all known and loved now uh like the hangar base from justice league and if you have enough you can create this nice scene that they that they did share you know on the uh, on the plane but you can see their flash you know but it's nice it's kind of big it takes a lot of space but it, it's 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 a different from the norm that we get and as far as his overall outfit, it is beautiful. It's made out of a lot of layers. He is quite poseable um, and not delicate at all. I'm assuming the, the fabric that they used is sort of the, uh, it's kind of like the sticky material, but those plates are removable by, by themselves. The one on the shoulder actually does have some Velcro. Uh, I don't know, I, I think there's more but it tells you not to remove certain parts and I suggest you follow the instructions. Those um, wire looking things, some of them are really wires that's connected to each other. So just be mindful when you are playing around this figure, posing him. Uh, I don't think you're gonna worry about flaking or this kind of reminds me of the, the Spider-Man suit from PlayStation 4, but with so much more details because of the layering of the armor and uh, different paint applications they use, different media like that, knee pads right there. Uh, the boots is actually beautiful. You can see the Flash logo, and also I didn't show it, there's a Flash logo on the, uh, the bottom of the shoe as well, but so much details in this figure, just beautiful. You can see the inside of the shoe, and um, it's quite poseable, I should say. Um, it would go well if you have other Justice League figures, which I, um, I I think we can give up now the hope of getting... Well, you never know. You never know. We might get him like, kind of like Drax. Well, we waited two years before we got Drax. Um, you know, we still might get Cyborg. Who knows? But I'm not holding my breath into it. And see, there's a lot of layers in this costume. Initially, I, I wasn't a big fan. Uh, this is kind of like... A, well, I, maybe that's why they made it magnetic. Because how the neck is shaped up, you can see those kind of like a 
I want to call it what like a, a tail of a lobster looking thing on the back of his neck so I guess if they didn't made it magnetic and made it one piece then you're gonna have some trouble maneuvering the neck and you have to when you're running when you have a figure like this that's running uh, so that's why I fully understand why they did what they did as far as the head sculpt and making it magnetic and I'm happy they did that um, makes it easier however like I said earlier hope I just hope that the you see that that's the uh, velcro and it's easy you can just pop it on and off I guess for posing purposes you know you have a lot of arm movements especially with him when he was running it's more of a stride like long strides that he was doing kind of silly but that's what they went to well that's what they went for in the movie so you know if you're trying to let replicate that and moving down here yeah it's the only thing I can think of maybe fisted hands uh, that would have been nice uh, too bad I already sold by Quicksilver. This would have been a nice uh, companion piece with him. The head sculpt is really strong. I think it's it's pretty good. I think there's a good likeness from um, Ezra Miller uh, in certain angles. Actually, in all angles. You know, the, they did a terrific job on the eyes and the mouth, which is the only one showing. But as far as the helmet is concerned, I, I don't know. I, I can't complain. It looks pretty good to me. You know, I'm not comparing this side by side from a... Uh, an actual prop in the movie but different textures like I said I like the way that they handled this texturized uh, kind of tail going back into his spine slash back of his neck as you can see there because if imagine if they made it all in one piece you would have very limited neck movement sort of a uh, Ultron you know he does have that uh, rubberized all the way down his neck so yes his neck does articulate but not so much but like I said like the faceplate would be my only kind of like I, and I know that the nose is like included in it and all that stuff but would have been nice to have different expressions you know like kind of like not even maybe just a, 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 an extra one sort of like daredevil well I wouldn't call it bloody but more like an open mouth you know like running really fast sort of thing that would have been nice but despite that you know i'm pretty happy with it the price is you know pretty decent as well you know, it doesn't come with much accessory so it's i think it's priced on uh i mean that's how what the normal hot toys nowadays is what like 234 or 99 or something like that so that's kind of like the new 190 if we're talking about back in 2012 or 13 so this is uh we're gonna put him on a few poses this is his famous pose obviously i can't use his stand but as you can tell he can uh pretty much balance on his own so he's doing a pretty good job at it you can see there i'm no camera trick whatsoever and here he is the f yeah you, you gotta have the obligatory running pose when it comes to flash you can see all those um electricity coming out of him uh, i'm sure there's a better explanation for that you know when you're running fast or you emit electricity or something like that you know i don't know i don't know the, the entire story but i'm glad it's there i really am it looks pretty cool um taking pictures of when you're displaying him obviously that looks good when you're taking pictures you might want to do it on photoshop instead of using this or you can use this and what you do is you blur the tips of these things or you want to give them an inner glow or something like that but again it's easier to just do it on post um but if you're lazy just throw them in there and this effects should have like a like an a b c d i mean really you can just go crazy with it and be you know be creative with it you don't really need to follow the pattern but if you want to do so go ahead and check out the instruction manual and one more post here when he caught the batarang um and he then but he wasn't really flashed then but it it's there so we might as well um use that and you see here most most of the time i would put him in a running post i don't know if i'm gonna leave that like that as well for a long period of time because of this the nature of the suit normally on my collection everyone is just museum pose because it creates space for other figures as well he's gonna be alongside aquaman when he comes in for whatever reason big bad does still does not have him but uh it's okay because i've been hammered this past couple of months with all these releases and uh it's good to have a break in my wallet every once in a while and this is him with the rest of the justice league you can see there batman who is just towering over both of these figures and diana seems to be taller than barry allen honestly 
Um, you know, I'm not gonna do a, uh, go in depth with it, but maybe maybe she is taller than Ezra Miller. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, but you can see here, Batman obviously just he is just bigger than everyone else anyway, not just Flash. So we'll take him out of the equation and let us use Wonder Woman, in which is ironically, if you look at the shoulders. Hers looks just a little taller. She's wearing heels, but yeah, you, you know what I mean there. And there you go, guys. That is Flash from Hot Toys and Justice League. Now, would I recommend this figure? If you're... I mean, I like the team, so I, I would recommend them. But I understand if you don't buy them. Here's the thing with this Justice League. If he comes out with his uh, own movie, the suit would probably be different. So this suit would be sort of like Aquaman, you know, just for Justice League. And if you didn't like the movie, then maybe it's not worth owning two versions. But, you know, like with, like with Aquaman, I pre-ordered both. I'm supposed to get the Justice League Aquaman. And, you know, I like the movie, both of them. So it's it's different enough. So why not get both versions? You know, like it's not like Mark III and Mark IV. Now for Iron Man collectors, that's, that's a must-have. With here, you know, they might be different if they come up with a new one. So I would say go for it. 234, it's not too bad. So, but once again, thank you for watching. You know, let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys going to pick this one up? Are you excited? Or, yeah, it's a man for you. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And I'll see you in the next review.